Trout fishing is red hot at Collins Lake. Check out these awesome rainbows my clients have landed this fall. Join me on the FHS pontoon boat and learn my proven methods for catching more and bigger trout up close and hands on. To book your trip now, go to fishhuntshoot.com and we'll be yelling fish on. Collins Lake, baby. <laughs> man, oh man. Okay, go under him. You come over. Come over here. No, he's got a fish too. Oh yeah, I got one too over here. Okay, okay. nice and slow. Okay. So here's over here. I'm gonna take his first. Nice hockey. Double, 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 double. There you go. Good job. Just let him hang there. I'm gonna grab this guy so I can use the net again. Okay. <laughs> so you right on over here. Look at that. <laughs> That's exciting. Three. everything this morning trout bass double play right there guys winter time at Collins Lake I love it Kel Kellogg here. That footage I started this video with, well that was shot this morning. We're fishing Collins Lake of course. I've been out here for several weeks guiding at Collins Lake and uh, the fishing for the most part has been wide open. The, the trolling bite has been kind of hit and miss but the bait bite has been very very consistent but today it was very challenging. Most of the trollers I talked to were getting skunked or had gotten skunked and uh, I was even having a hard time getting the rainbows to go on power bait and I was using power bait right there and inflated night crawlers and uh, it's not hard to understand why the bite was difficult. Overnight we had rain, we had periods of wind, we had periods when the skies cleared and it was you know clear and cold. Then this morning it was overcast again. It spit a little bit of, of rain. Then it cleared off then this see this heavy fog behind me i can't even see across the lake and anybody out there who's been to collins lake knows it's not that big of a lake we had this fog move in heavy heavy fog so we probably had i didn't check the the barometer but we had a barometer going up and down we had periods of wind out of the south we had periods of wind out of the north we had periods of heavy wind we had periods when it was dead flat calm we just had a ton of fluctuation in the weather and we saw another one degree drop of the surface temperature overnight and all that adds up to fickle lethargic hard to hook fish um, not only did we have to run with bait as opposed to trolling but we really had to be patient when we did get a bite we had to open the bale we had to let those fish run for an extended period of time to get the bait well back in their mouth and as i said we did grind out limits and grind that's what i really want to talk about you get out to the lake you know use all your experience um, do your homework and try to figure out what kind of conditions do I have today? Do I have ideal conditions or do I have marginal conditions? 
Today is not the kind of day when you want to, you know, give give bait fishing an hour and say, that's not working. Let's put on our speed trolling stuff and go do that for a while. And that's not working. Let's go back to bait. Well, that's not working. Let's go out and fish 30 to 40 feet of water off the downrigger. That helter skelter shotgun approach just isn't going to work most of the time especially if you want to put a limit or or two limits of fish in the boat you need a well thought out plan and you need to be prepared when you're up against tough conditions the fishing is going to be tough this lake is absolutely full of fish i was marking fish all day long we saw some fish on the surface but the weather conditions the temperature the up and down barometer the wind the sun the lack of sun the rain all that had combined to make for a very difficult bite so I decided early on we were gonna try you know this spot and that spot we were gonna give each spot at least 45 minutes to produce um, I think we only tried one spot where we didn't catch a fish um, but other than that there was really no consistency the only thing consistent to the fishing today was the fact that you had to stay at it you had a grind with the highest percentage presentation in your repertoire, which for us in this stained water was power bait and inflated worms. You just had to stick with it. You had to make the most of every single strike. And I think we missed two fish today. The rest of them all went in the net and went in the box. But just know, not every day is a perfect fishing day. But a day when the, when the conditions are challenging, that is a great opportunity for you to, to really think through the situation, pick the best possible approach, the highest percentage approach, and then stick with it. Grind through the slow fishing, and very likely at the end of the day, you're gonna end up with some fish for dinner, and you may end up with limits of fish when other anglers are even you know just struggling to get a hookup, you know, period, end of story. I know that tip is going to serve you well in the future. Keep that in, the, in mind. Some days it's, it's fun fishing and you can use a variety of approaches and it's fish on and easy limits and we're all smiling and it's awesome and the sun's out and it's great. But other days, man, you got to get your nose to the grindstone. You got to grind. And if you're able to do that, if you're able to weather out those, those challenging conditions, the rewards can be really great. It makes you feel really good to get limits of fish when the fishing is, is just flat out tough. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. If you're looking for gear, you'd like to book a trip with me and get out on the water this winter, fishhuntshoot.com. I'll catch you later, guys. Thanks a lot.